This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial we'll be going over how to make dotted lines using Adobe Illustrator. And there's two different ways to approach this. You can draw dotted lines, or you can take an already existing shape and apply dotted lines to it. Let me show you how to do both. I'm going to open up a new document over here, and I'm going to grab the pen tool. First, I'm going to show you how to draw dotted lines. So I'm going to grab the pen tool over here, located right over here, or you could press P on the keyboard. I'm going to click to create a point. I'm going to bring the line straight across my, my screen over here. I'm going to hold shift to lock it onto the horizontal axis. Click again to create another point and then press enter to close the path. And now we have a line right here. And we're going to take this line and turn it into a dotted line. So to do that, I want to open up the stroke menu. So I'm going to come over here to where it says window and I'm looking for stroke. Now there should be some options over here in the stroke menu. If you don't see any options over here, like in my menu, you just click on this little hamburger icon menu up here and click on show options and it'll show you all of the different details for this line right here. Now what I'm paying attention to right over here is where it says dashed line. I'm going to enable that and that's going to make it into a dashed line. It's going to be hard to see. So I'm going to hover, I'm going to click on the size or the weight right here and just roll up the mouse wheel to increase the size of this line. And then I want to come over here to where it says cap. Since we want to make a dotted line, I'm going to make this have a rounded cap, which is this center option right here. Now, if you notice, we have some dots here already showing up. So what I want to do is come over here to where it says dash and where it says gap. Now dash, this, this controls the width of the dashes. As I bring this up, if you notice, it's not really dots. It's more like dashes. If I want this to be dots, I got to bring this all the way down to zero. Now come over here to where it says gap. This lets you control. If I click on that, you could roll up and down your mouse wheel. This lets you control the width between each of the dots like that. Now, if you want to change the size of the dots, just come, over, come back up here to the weight and then you can increase and decrease the size of the dots like that. And when you're done, you now have a dotted line that you have drawn. You could actually take, um, let me come over here and grab the anchor point tool and show you. You could actually curve this line like that and you actually have a dotted line that you could work with. Now, if you want to color this thing in, this registers as a stroke with um, a, uh, Adobe Illustrator. So you want to change the stroke color, which is over here. So just double click on this and you could change that stroke color to whatever you want. And there you go. That's how you can change the color of it. If you want to convert it into a, um, a, a vector path, you could just go to object path and click on outline stroke. And there you go. Now it has a solid fill like any other vector object. So let's go over how to apply a dotted line to an already existing shape now that we've done that. Let's grab the, um, I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool over here. I'm going to, I'm going to draw a rectangle like this and uh, I'm going to apply a dotted line to this shape right here in the same way that I drew the dotted line. So I'm going to change, first of all, let me change the stroke color over here. Give this a color. I'm going to make this black. Click OK. And I'm going to make the weight of this. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. Or you know what? It looks like the color didn't apply. Let me try that again. There we go. I'm going to adjust the size of this as needed over here. I want to use a round cap, dashed line. And there you go. We, can, we already have our dotted line going around the object. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to control the spacing between these dots, as you can see here. If you want to make the dots a little bigger, again, just come back up here and then make sure to increase the spacing between them as needed. And that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about created, creating dotted lines with Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.